One of the things I love about cooking the most is experimentation, just to try things. And believe it or not, one day I actually had a couple of lobster tails laying around that I didn't know what to do with. And I thought I would just try something different just for the fun of it. And so I decided to cut them open and fry them in a pan. Now I've had broiled lobster before, I've had boiled lobster before, I've had baked lobster, but I've never actually had pan fried lobster in the tail. So it was an experiment and I was thrilled with the result and I wanna share it with you today. So the lobster tail that I have today is about a pound. That's a larger size lobster tail. You can always take a pair of kitchen scissors and just clip down the top part of the shell, but we're not gonna cut all the way through. We're gonna take it just down there to the tail. We're gonna take the knife. And that's how we're gonna start. So when I did it, I didn't try to go fancy. I fried it just like I fry most things in the pan. Oil, salt, and pepper. Turn this over. Put a little extra oil in the pan, and I'm gonna take it over and fry it on high heat. Five and a half minutes, we turn it, and then we cook it on the shelf side. Wow, that looks amazing. Because this is an extra thick lobster tail, I'm gonna let this sit for three or four minutes to ensure that it cooks all the way through with the shell side down. So this one pound lobster tail has cooked for a total of about 10 minutes on high. And remember, we started with a cold pan. Let's take it out of the shell and see how we did. tell just by looking at it, that is perfect. So some of the cool things that I've learned about the fried lobster is number one, when you get a broiled lobster and they serve it, the lobster meat is up on top of the shell. And so by the time it takes from when it's cooked to when it reaches the table to when it reaches your mouth, the lobster is actually cold. So when you fry the lobster, I've noticed it actually holds the heat really well if you leave it in the shell right before you slice it and serve it. So here are some suggestions. Here's a lobster salad and what I did is I took the lobster after it was fried and I mixed in a lemon ghee or drawn butter with a little bit of fresh thyme and tossed it in that. This is uh, from Stonewall Kitchen. It is a buffalo aioli and I just put a little bit on there. It gives it a little spice and creamy for something uh, a little different and then here we also used uh, the lemon butter with thyme and so just three ideas to consider, uh, but I'd love to hear other people's suggestions of what you think about fried lobster. And if you like this, please click like, subscribe, and ring the bell.